You know, we've talked a lot about various varieties of worms and so mm -hmm. forth. How about, uh, well, you don't like to talk about it exactly, I guess, but it's something we have to accept as reality, and I'm referring to ticks. Ticks. Let's talk about them a little bit. Yep, the other worms that fall into the external parasite category, there's several different varieties of ticks out there, but basically it, the ones we see are the great big ticks, the dog tick. Ticks we see lots of in the spring and the fall. Ticks you typically find on the head around the base of their rump in between their toes and on their belly. And they will be taking blood meals. Puppies and kittens can die from ticks. <laughs> when they start to take a blood meal, you'll go from a tick you haven't noticed the one that's relatively large and filled with blood. If you leave them alone, they also will fall off. How do we get that out without the head getting stuck in the body? Pull it out. Not to put words in your mouth, Barb, mm -hmm. but... Uh... Move it up a little. Pull it out very gently. <laughs> that's the big thing. We're running short on time mm -hmm. now, or you're drawing close to the end of the program. And I'd like to have you comment on this. Uh, we may be frightened some people thinking, oh my gosh, my animal is loaded with no. parasites and ticks. It is here to inform you so that you make the right choices to make sure that everybody's nice and clean. We're fortunate enough to live in a country that does have loads of human parasites all over the place. Watch out for ticks. They're biting. <laughs>